Hello, today I want to talk about how to add simple numbers. Now, I talked about doing columns, but tonight I like to talk about something a little bit different. Talking about looking at a number to get the answer without having to go through a whole lot of thinking and a whole lot of concern. For example, if you have a number such as 84 plus 21. Now, it should be easy to see that 8 and 2 is 10 and 4 and 1 is 5. So your answer would be 105. Now, the thing about adding up columns is that you have to look at the right side of the equation as the given. Let me give you an example of that. If you have an 8 and a 7, you know it's 15. So the right side of the equation, you know the given is 5. Well, you know that. Okay, so that means that if you had something and 8 and plus something and 7, the answer is going to end in 5, and that's your given. Okay, so what that means is you have to understand small numbers. You have to understand the, the principles of addition when it comes to doing single digits. Now, what happens is once a number goes into base 10, it means that it's 10 plus something on the right. For example, if you have 8 plus 2, it's, just, it's simply going to be a 10. But if you have 8 plus 3, it's going to be a 10 plus something on the right. In this case, it's going to be a 1. So the answer is going to be 11. Okay. So utilizing that mindset, this makes it very simple to see and to operate through any type of addition that you're going to be performing. Let's get an example here. Let's do... Um, 57 and 42. Again, this will not break into the base 10 or base 100 because on the left side you'll see that 5 and 4 is 9 and 7 and 2 is also 9. So the answer is going to be 99. But let's say it was going to be um, 57 and 47. Well, again, you, you know that the left side is 90, but the base 10 occurs on the right because 7 and 7 is 14, so that's going to make it 10 and 4. And that's the answer, 104. Now, if you continue to think about the base 10, it makes it easier to do any type of simple addition. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few examples, okay? And these will all fall into the base 10, which means that the numbers on the right side of the equation will equal more than 10 okay now okay let's do one here let's do um, 68 and 27 okay now if you understand when, when you say let's say 68 and 27 you know it's going to end in 5 you can see it because you know that 8 and 7 to 15 okay now you had a 6 and a 2 now that was 80 but because of the base 10 it goes into 9 so it's going to be 95 and that's your answer I'll give you another one let's do 35 and 48 okay again if you know that 5 and the uh, and 8 make 13 then you know the answer is going to end in a 3. Okay? And that's what you got to worry about. It ends with a 3. Okay, so going back to that number again. Okay, so 35 and 48. We know it's going to end in a 3. The, the 10 will throw the numbers into a doubling effect, and it's going to be 83. Pretty easy to do. Let's do another one. Okay? Let's go a little bit faster this time. Okay? Let's do... Um, let's say 12 and 17. Okay, well that broke the rule right there because I said I would go over base 10. You know that's only going to be 29. So let's make it 17 and 17. Again, it's going to end in 4. The, the 1, the 1 plus the base 10 will be 3, so it's 34. So let's do a higher number this time. Let's do 72 and 87. Okay, now you say, oh, we're going over 100, but it's not that hard. Because if you know that the the 2 and the 7, okay, that won't go over base 10. It's going to be a 9. And then you look back and you'll see that the um, the 8 and the 7 are 15. And so it's 1, 5, 9. Okay?
very easy to do. Let's um, let's do one where the numbers are much more than than ten away or twenty away. Okay. This time we'll do let's say um, thirty-seven and sixty-eight. Okay. Now take a look at the base ten there. Okay. You you've got a thirty-seven and a sixty-eight. So you know it's going to end at five. Now what you have here is you've you've got a forty coming up and a sixty. So that's one hundred. So one hundred and five is the answer. This is very easy to do. What you have to understand is when you're doing your numbers, you're not trying to to look at the end of the answer as being anything but just what it would be if it was a single number. If you had, for example, if you had eight and nine, that's seventeen. So if you've got twenty-seven and forty-nine, the same thing occurs. It's going to end with that number just as if the other numbers didn't exist. Okay? So practice that and make sure that when you do this, you're understanding that all numbers come from a small number. If you're adding up, let's say you were doing a nine and nine and nine and nine, it's it's kind of silly to say, well, I don't understand how that how that occurs. Because you can see a nine and another nine and nine and nine. So that's why when it comes to doing math, you're always doubling things or just doing the table. So of course nine times four is going to be thirty-six. But the point is, don't don't be afraid of the small numbers. So if I give you a number like this here, let's say let's say seven, okay, and nine. So you have sixteen now. Okay. Then I say fourteen. Don't don't be afraid of that, okay? Sixteen and fourteen can can only be thirty. Okay? You see how it works? You start doing doing with your base ten. So now you've got thirty and now I say sixty-eight. Well, that can only be ninety-eight. Okay? So you get ninety-eight and then I say uh seventy-four. Well, it can it can only be a hundred and seventy-two because you've just taken two away and you've you add it to the number so it's really not that hard to do numbers if you can see how the numbers flow then you're not going to be afraid of them and the problem is people are afraid of numbers so the most important thing is don't be afraid one thing that I really don't like about people who try to show math is that they make you think you have to do it quickly it's not about doing it quickly it's about getting the answer that needs to be you know concluded so if you have something like um, someone asks you to add columns, you're always thinking about, oh, I've got to do it quickly because you know they want me to do it fast. No, it's not about doing it fast; it's about doing it properly. So let me end here. I'm going to um, have something written down here, so I'm going to just recite this and see if you can help me to add this up. Okay? So we got 32 and 16. Now that doesn't go over base 10, so we know that's 48, and then 19. Okay? So 48 and 19 is going to end in a seven. Okay, and it's going to be 67 because the 19 goes up into its next component because of the base 10. It's easy to do. So, continue to enjoy my videos as I make them for you. Please comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. And you have a great day. Thank you.